All right, you ain't talking for us. Hmm. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Today must be my lucky day. Well, it isn't mine, Mr. Cartwright, so let's cut the gab and start playing cards. I want to win back some of that money we've lost. All right, Mr. Corden. Five dollars. Cards. One. Three. Dealer takes four. Ten dollars. You're holding something pretty good, aren't you, son? Ten? And another ten. That's ah, too rich for me. Besides, I'm busted. Well, Mr. Gordon, I'll... I'll see that ten dollars. And I'll raise you twenty. Or maybe you've got them and maybe you ain't, but I gotta stay in and make you show them. Mr. Cartwright, I, uh, I'm out of ready cash. But I'll make you a sporting proposition. You're into my partner myself for $150. I've got something outside I'll put up. Double or nothing. Are you game? Yeah, well, that all depends what you have outside. Let's go have a look, see. Good. <laughs> How's that? I've seen better, but it'll do. You've seen better? Cartwright, you've been around a lot more than I thought. Well, I'm a real good judge. It'd be pretty hard to fool me on a deal like this. We sure did. All right, Cartwright, let's see him. Queens over tens. I thought you was bluffing. Oh, no, no, I was quite serious about it. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen, for a very profitable card game. Hey! What are you doing, Guide, right? I'm taking my horse. Horse? That's right. I just won it, didn't I? Oh, no. You got it all wrong, Cartwright. The horse I need. That's what you want. The what? The girl. Oh, come on. Yeah, too late. She's all yours. Like you said, Cartwright, you're a real good judge of women. W women? this. What's this? Oh, it's a bill of sale. Makes it legal. It legal? What are you talking about? Makes what legal? Well, you see this powerful Chinese warlord in San Francisco. A, a Chinese warlord in San, San Francisco? Yeah, General Mu Tsung's his name. Well, he had to get out of China real fast, see, so he took Su Ling here along with him as one of his slaves. Oh, yeah? I bought her from him. Clear? Oh, well, well what am I going to do with her? 
That's your problem, Cartwright. From now on, look before you leap. Hey, wait a minute. Where, where are you going? Well, I hear St. Louis is pretty nice about this time of the year, Mr. Cartwright. Good luck. Su Ling. Uh, you, you speak English? Yes, Master. Su Ling learned in missionary school in China. Good. Well, I hereby set you free. Oh, but the illustrious Master, Su Ling not wish to be free. Don't? Why not? Su Ling not know what to do, free. Su Ling alone, strange land. Look, look, Su Ling, I don't know what to do with you. See, I... Well, I, I, I never won anything quite like this before. Suling work for master. Work very hard. Eat little. Sleep floor. No trouble. Like a, like a shadow in night forest. No see, no hear. No, no, look, I'm, I'm so sorry, Suling, but we already have help at the Ponderosa. And besides, I, I really don't think my father let me keep you. Suling not understand. Two masters sell her. Now you send her away. Nobody wants this unworthy person. She go. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Maybe I have been a little bit hasty. I'll take you home to my pa. Maybe he'll know what to do with you. Oh, thank you, master. Oh. Don't do that. Yes, ma master. Now, don't call me master. Yes, master. See the look on Pa's face when he hears about this. Anyway, should have seen Riley. He lets go with both barrels of that shotgun. The stock comes up, hits him right in the jaw, and bang, backwards over into the canyon. <laughs> I heard he was running like an antelope when he hit the box. Oh, he was running. He <laughs> was a good shot, man. <laughs> That should teach Riley how not to fool him. Okay, go away, Ching An. Honorable Masters. The walls are illuminated when the men return to their dwelling. May this worthless person have hat, please. Xie xie. Yes, yes. Delightful dinner ready soon. Uh, uh, miss. Uh, just a moment, please. Yes, excellent one. Who are you? Su Ling, masters, your new slave. Why you call me? Who's that girl? Oh, the girl, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to tell you about that. Please do. I see, I, I won her in a poker game. You won her in a poker game? Yeah, I, I thought she was a horse. You thought she was a horse? Hmm? Yeah, see, we were sitting in the bar. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What you're saying is, that at your age, you don't know the difference between a girl and a horse. Oh, no, sure I do, Pa. Oh, oh sure. Sure, no. See, I, I met this fella, Gordon, see? And I thought he was putting up a horse to back his bed. Gordon. Yeah, and turned out to be a girl. <laughs> you can't keep her. Oh, no, I know, and that's what I said. No, you can't keep her. That's exactly what I said, and I said to myself, Joe, what are you gonna do? I said, bring her to Pa, he'll know exactly what to do with it. Give her back, give her back, give her back. I can't, Gordon's half way to St. Louis by now. Gotta sit down. Oh, Paul. Joe's just joshing us. Yeah, come on, stop fooling, Joe. What's it all about? 
I'm not fooling. All right. All right, now just start from the very, very beginning. Come on. Tell me the whole story. All right, but first let me tell you a little about the girl. Look, she's had a real tough time with her. Her folks died when she was four of the plague. Her uncle sold her to some farmers. Well, then her owners were killed in some, some kind of a local war. They would have killed her too, but she was able to hide for three days. How did she get to this country? Well, there's a man named General Tsung. He carried her off when he got booted out of the Manchus. Well, get to the point about the girl. Yeah. Well, this General Tsung evidently had everything pretty well figured out. When things got too hot for him in China, he took all his gold and Sulang, got on a clipper ship and came to San Francisco. Yeah, but how did this fella, uh, Gordon, how did he get her from this General whatchamacallit? I suppose he bought her. Nice people. <sighs> that girl's had enough grief to last her a lifetime. But that's all over now. Call her in. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Call her in. <laughs> Told me to use this any time we wanted her. You know, Hop Singh says her name means tinkling bell of virtue. It's kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah. Revered Master Summon. Yes, Su Ling, my father would like to speak to you. I kowtow to his august presence. And you've already met my brothers. Most venerable brothers. Su Ling, I have the most wonderful news for you. As of this very moment, you are emancipated. Emancipated? Yes, you're free. Free to do what, most worthy master? Well, uh, anything. You're free to do anything you want to do. Go anywhere you want to go. You're free. Oh, that's very nice. I stay here. St the Cartwright's slave girl. So she doesn't want to be set free, Pa. Well, that's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard of. Who wouldn't want to be free? Su Ling. Well, now, now look, see, see here, Su Ling. You see. Why you no want Su Ling? She all alone. In buggy, Su Ling see Ponderosa land stretch far away until eyes grow weary. Cartwrights can't afford many slaves. Well, you, you don't understand, Su Ling. You see, we don't keep slaves here. Well, she doesn't understand about our ways or the country. She's got a point there. We can't turn her out. Yeah, Paul, that'd be as cruel as that General What's his name. What? Well, all right. All right, I agree. Fine. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Celine. I'm going to pay your passage back to China, first class. And then I'll give you all the money you need to start all over again. Now, how's that? Suling have no one in China now. Nothing. But here, Suling have Cartwrights, and Cartwrights have Suling. Oh, permit Suling to stay. She'd be a very good slave girl. Ask nothing but to serve. Now you ring bell, and she comes swift. Wings on feet. You beat Suling if she not. Suling always have someone to tell her what to do. Please. Suling always have master. Stay with us. Oh, on, until we can find out something, well, settle something permanent. Yes, Master. You good man. Only, only remember, you, you, you're you still free. You understand? You're not a slave. You're still free. Yes, Master. Free. Free to stay. Yeah, that's right. And, and then one more thing. Now, it, it's not Master. In this country, it's Mister. Mister. Now, with permission, Su Ling withdraw to work with much devotion. There's nothing else to do. I couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. Boy, I think you did the right thing. Mm-hmm. Well, you see, I had no choice. As for you, number three, son, you keep out of poker games where you don't know what the stakes are. Yes, sir. Dinner respectfully served. Misters. Hey, I think it's gonna be kind of nice having a little gal around the house for a change. Uh, honorable father. <clears throat> Venerable brother. 
is for you, dishonorable short shanks. You can have the leftovers. What's that I smell? Is that something new? you find out pretty soon. It sure smells good. Keep hands off, nosy belly. Hopsing, you sure are getting to be a grouch. But I gotta admit, the food's getting better. It's Su Ling. She fine cookie. Plenty of help, Hopsing. Yeah, she's a big help to everybody, ain't she? Where is she? Is she outside prepare food for new dish? Bird's nest omelet. Bird's nest omelet? Here, you take knife. For what? you find out plenty soon. Goodbye now. Very happy in Ponderosa. Very beautiful. Like green rainfall. Yes, I suppose so. Guess we really don't see it anymore. Ah, it's a great pity to cover eyes with wool of habit. Supreme Law has given so much beauty. Good morning, Sir Lee. Adam. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Haas. A little bitty gal like you doing out here in a big batch of spuds like that, you better let me give you a hand, hadn't you? Oh, thank you, Mr. Haas. You and Mr. Adams, so kind to Suling. Oh. So good. And Suling loved to peel potato. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Suling. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Joseph. Hey, let me give you a hand with those potatoes. Here, thank you, Mr. Joseph. Cut rice. Very fine family. Guys in hiding, you're sure making that fire big enough. Well, I want some hot food. I'm sick of jerky. The generals around these parts will be eating dirt. Use your head. Use my head? What were you using when you stole a gal at Chung was finding Mickey's number one wife? Oh, it was worth a try. How was I to know it was against his principles to pay ransom for a woman? Look on the bright side. In losing her to Cartwright, we sidetracked the general away from us. Smartest thing we've done in years. Gordon, and to my shame, tender of heart. I do not want to kill you, but uh, my choice depends on you. What is it you want of me, General? I'll do anything you say. It is the wise man who recognizes the face of necessity. Where is Su Ling? I, uh, I give her to a fellow named Cartwright. You gave her? When you knew she belonged to me? I couldn't help it, General. I was taking care of her best I could, but this Cartwright fellow forced me into it. And could the so generous Mr. Gordon tell me where this Cartwright fellow can be found? I uh, heard he had a big ranch near Virginia City. The, the Ponderosa, I think it's called. Free, Mr. Gordon, from life's pain. General, don't let him do it. Don't let him kill me. General! General, please! No! General! General! Those four, Suling. Oh, Mr. Joseph. 
Rose wind bells. Tell when celestial spirit enter house, frighten demon away, and bring good fortune. Pretty. Mm -hmm. They make beautiful music. So, Ling, you happy with us here on the ranch? Oh, yes, Mr. Joseph. Honorable father gives Suling freedom to remain slave. <laughs> oh, Suling, you still don't understand. You're free. Absolutely free. Yes, sir. Please, Mr. Joseph, to explain. Suling listened with eager ears. All right. Come here. Sit down. Now, let me see. You see, this country, this country is the land of the free. Here, you can do absolutely anything you want. No law in America. Oh, yeah, of course we have law, but I mean, aside from that, you can do anything you want. You know obey father. Well, certainly I obey my father, but I... You have obligations to brothers, to Ponderosa, yes? Yes, but that is not the point. I understand. You part free, part slave, right? No, no, look, you still don't understand. Oh. Celine, sorry. She bottomless well of ignorance. No, it's my fault. I'm, I'm not explaining it to you, right? Here, you see the bird in the cage? Mm -hmm. You're like the bird in that cage. But bird happy. He sing. Ah, but he'd be a lot happier and he'd be a lot better off if we let him go free. Yes, sir. We see. Bird not strong enough to fly away. In cage, bird safe, happy. You know, you argue just like a woman. Can't do with steak and rice. What you can't do with steak and rice, you mean? Oh, that was good. Problems, little Joe? Hmm? No, no, Pond. Just have a little trouble explaining a few things to Sue Lang. That's all. No, uh -huh. I think we. I think we're all having a little trouble explaining how we do things here to Sue Lang. It's Sue Lang's fault. She head block. Head block. Blockhead? <laughs> oh, no, no, not at all. What seems to be troubling you? See, Honorable Sir, it's very difficult for Suling to understand the mysterious West. Very inscrutable. We are? Uh -huh. Well, Suling, you know, I've been thinking. Little Joe and I have, well, we haven't had much luck trying to explain our way of doing things here in this country. And I was wondering if it mightn't be an idea for you to visit some of your people in Virginia City. Hey, that's a good idea, Pa. Suling sees some countrymen there. Perhaps they can help this brainless one understand. Ah. All right, I'll take you in in the morning. Well, right, it's all settled tomorrow morning. <laughs> Thank you, Suling. May spirits sing in your serene stomach. Well, uh, speaking of singing, uh. I wonder if you'd sing for us. Have not seen this long time. Make hard to remember father's house. Well, you told me you used to play and sing at home. Uh, we'd like to hear you. Hey, where'd you get that thing? Don't be a head block. I brought it back from Virginia City. <laughs> Gentlemen, your attention, please. Su Ling is going to favor us with a song. Forgive Su Ling if she offend illustrious ears with unworthy efforts. <laughs> Wind, silk and sigh, jade green branch, mountain pine, silver needle, autumn sign, swan white winter hover near, cover earth, frozen year, springtime blossom far away, summer lotus. Gone to stay far from home, lost away. Cool the night, dark the day. J 
jasmine crocus bloom again hope and the love oh when oh when person I want you to meet, Cam Lee. He's a wonderful fella and the best doctor in this town. Come on. Little Joe, welcome to my humble office. Doc, how are things? As usual. Too many sick, too few hands. Mm. I hope you're not in the need of my services today. No, I'm not here for any medicine. I just want you to meet a friend of mine, Sue Lee. She's new in this country and I'm just showing her around town. I thought you might want to tell her a little bit about your work here. Oh, I would be honored. But I'm afraid I must do it while I look after my patients. Sure. Perhaps Suling can help illustrious doctor. She worked in Mission Hospital in China a long time. Is that so? Su Ling, you're the answer to a long said prayer. going down, A Ting. Soon you'll be all well. You have been a great help today, Su Ling. Su Ling, always happy when can be of help to Kuan Yin, Goddess of Mercy. If you ever desire work, you are more than welcome with Kang Lee. But doctor, Su Ling already have work with revered Cartwrights at Ponderosa. Well, just in case, there is great need here. Su Ling, we better be on our way. We have a long ride back to the ranch. Doc, we'll see. Chinese army come. What are you talking about? You go see, boss. What is the meaning of all this? Do I have the honor of addressing the illustrious Mr. Cartwright? I'm Ben Cartwright. These are my sons. It is truly said, sons are the light in the father's eyes. Permit me to introduce myself, General Mu Chung. I've heard about you. This insignificant soldier is exceedingly flattered. What can we do for you? It has come to my attention that you have something which belongs to me. What's that? Su Ling. And by what right does she belong to you? The prior right of possession. That is not a right, General. An interesting point, Mr. Cartwright. If I had time, I would like to discuss it with you. What for? There's nothing to discuss. The loud-voiced child has rightly been called a hammer without a head. General, why don't we discuss this inside? An excellent suggestion, for the prudent man talks before he acts. I am honored as I enter your sublime household. Take a seat, General. You are the embodiment of hospitality. Now about Su Ling. I am prepared to repay you for any trouble you may have gone to. You want to buy her back? 
If that is the way you wish to express it. She's not for sale. You mean she's not ours to sell. We set her free. Most wasteful. Extravagantly wasteful. But I do not wish to debate with you. My honor demands the return of my property. Well, I'll tell you, General. I think it's up to Su Ling as to whether she goes back with you or not. You'll have to ask her. More idealism. But at times it can be a good servant for the realist. Su Ling, would you come in here, please? Yes, Master. Su Ling. Su Ling. Joy leaps in my heart again at the sight of your beauty. Gentlemen, perhaps you do not understand. I offer Su Ling an honorable status as one of my wives. Would uh, Delicate Orchid Blossom entertain this trembling proposal? It is ever wise to consider so wondrous a proposal, glorious general. Su Ling needs time to, to ponder breathtaking prospect. Consider, too, the numberless delights you would enjoy as General Zheng's wife. Yes, Su Ling will, will contemplate the boundless riches most carefully. May I beseech Su Ling for an imminent answer? I have already taken much time away from the present concerns of my import business in San Francisco. May Su Ling entreat great general's indulgence only until tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning. I should prefer an answer now, but uh, I shall be patient. May I humbly suggest that your uh, response be affirmative, Su Ling? Don't threaten her. It is well written. The kitten would be king of the jungle if mice were elephants. General. Please remember, this is not China. Perhaps not, Mr. Cartwright. But it is carved in jade that uh, death is a land without geography. Once I may you live 10,000 years. Suling. I'd like you to know that we want you to stay here permanently. Make the Ponderosa your home. But whatever you decide, we we'll respect that decision. I just don't understand how you could think of marrying a man like that. General Su must wish Su Ling well, for he has gone to great trouble to find her. Time, Suling may wish him well too. Forgive Suling, she must run to her room. She all right? Oh, she's been cut. Yeah, so General Sung had your best wishes at heart. I tried to steal you like a sack of. Now that's enough, Joe. That chunks, man. Who's there? You take that man to the sheriff and bring back the doctor. There's no place for bunglers in the service of General Chung. We will wait until tomorrow. Then we will get Su Ling and repay the cart rights for meddling.
A few days and you will be just as before. Now tell me, Suleen, have you considered what I said? Yes, esteemed doctor. I think it is better I leave Ponderosa before General Sung return. I have already too much endangered the life of my benefactors. I will go work with you. You will be welcome, Su Ling. Our people need much help. You are certain Su Ling will truly be of help? You are not just extending her a merciful hand? Ah, no, Su Ling. In many ways, you are really needed. With the sick, of course. And to teach our people the English language. And thus the opportunities of their new country. Yes, those are worthy occupations. How is she, Doc? Oh, fine. She's ready to come out now. Well, Su Ling, you feeling better now? The healing hands of Dr. Cam Lee restored Su Ling's body. But her mind trembled like bowing in strong wind. Don't you worry about Musang, Su Ling. If he tries anything again, we'll be ready for him. That's not what Su Ling think about. Her small life is not important enough for worry. Then what is it? Dr. Cam Lee say our people in Virginia City need Su Ling's help. You mean you'd like to work with them? Yes. If Masters approve to release Su Ling. No, we're not going to let you go. Not if it's just to protect us. Su Ling always content at Ponderosa. And she owes Mr. Joseph so much. If he like, Su Ling stay a servant girl. <laughs> So long you do what you think is best. We'll help you any way we can, So Ling. Your goodwill has already been our greatest blessing. Well, would you like to leave? If all right, So Ling think it wise, return city with doctor. I'll take you to town on the buckboard. Is that all right, Pa? It's all right, Joe. Miss you around here. If you ever get in any trouble, if you need any help, you just call on us, we'll be there. Sulina. Cartwright's love is what gives courage to Suling to leave Birdcage she tried to build for herself. You teach her, Cage, shut in Suling. Not keep out world. You teach her so much. No, so long, I, I think you always had a lot more to teach me than I had to teach you. Much more than she brought to Ponderosa. Well, if you mean our hearts, you're perfectly right. We'll miss you, Suling. You brought a, a forgotten warmth into our home. And eyes for a beauty we'd forgotten to see. You come back to see us often, you hear? Yes, Mr. Haas. And I see you in Virginia City, too, yes? Stupid Suling cannot find words for what is in her heart. Only 
so good Cartwrights have breathed life into her existence. And they teach her freedom is very precious. Bye, Sue. Little Joe, take care now. Mr. Cartwright? I want to parley with you. Show yourself. I am under a flag of truce. Stay down. All right, what do you want to parley about, son? I have not opened fire because I do not wish to harm you. Turn over Su Ling and you may go in peace. The answer is no. You want her, you're gonna have to fight for her. Hurt, Mr. Joseph? Oh, this ring, see? It's no time now, Simri. Doc, get over there, get an eye out, will you? Toothless puppy, you die.
Why are we glad to see you? It's on your hit. Uh, Doc says I'll live. Hey, what are you doing here, anyway? Oh, uh, we were, uh, we were just following along. Uh-huh. Way back. Well, you didn't think I was going to let my number three son run the risk of encountering the general and his army alone. Thanks, Pop. Got you a present, little brother. Not that you needed any help. Oh, I can see I'm not going to hear the end of this. You all right? Yeah, I'll be all right. So I'm going to need an awful lot of Sioux Ling's care for a while. And there'll be no charge for our services. Well, you can't beat that. It's almost worth getting wounded for. Yeah, you are a lucky little cuff, brother. You got a good doctor and a good-looking nurse, and all for free. Free. That is most beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>